Hey, jumping on the next one, man. I just see Warrior right asking about Blood Diamond. Blood Diamond's opponent, does it change twice or once? At least twice, but at least once, I mean, but he's now with Jeremiah Wells. Jeremiah mm-hmm. Wells' opponent also fell out. So these yeah. two are facing each other. And but that one is a bit of a trial by fire. That that Ooh, dude's yeah, pretty, man. pretty full on, man. Jeremiah Wells, real explosive, wild opponent, very strong on the ground. And uh, I think this is um, probably more challenging in a way from what you can see when you look at Jeremiah, well, uh, Jeremiah Wells' videos. He's, he's pretty full on, man. What do you think? I think definitely because he comes from a good gym, Renzo's Grace in Philly. I only know that because um, Andre Petrovsky from Tough Heat trains out of Philly as well. So there's a few guys from that sort of Philly team and they are strong sort of grappling, wrestling-based control sort of guys. And... Yeah, as we see, uh, Jeremiah's Wells' last win was uh, over Wally Alvarez, who's a decent sort of opponent in a debut to get a finish like that. And I think Mike's last opponent, the O'Ryan or whatever his name was, that hard one, was it was a better stylistic matchup for him. Whereas I think this fight, it's going to be tougher, but it's also going to sort of be a good showing for blood to purely show like, how his wrestling can hold up against these sort of elite, not so much the regional guys anymore against the guys in the UFC who are talented, strong wrestlers. Because as you know, if you come into the UFC with any sort of background in striking or anything, everybody's going to want to try and wrestle with you. So it's sort of, even though it's a hard fight, it's good to get it out of the way sort of thing. Because then you can sort of see where you're level at and sort of what you can need to work on troubleshoot and everything like that from it. And men, it's it's a good gym. CKB, they're not stupid. They're very exactly cerebral, right. cerebral guys, man. They're going to be thinking and knowing exactly what's going to happen. And just like uh, our Adesanya, they prepared, man. They've been preparing Adesanya for a long time before he went in to fight MMA, you know? So mm-hmm. it's the same. Blood Diamond would have been working. He's a pretty high-level athlete. He would have been picking things up along the way, following the blueprint that's already laid down about how to use your striking in MMA. So he's had three fights for three wins, but that doesn't show anything. This is a guy that's like a master of fighting, man. He's been in the ring like 100 plus times or something. He's going to he's gonna be fine in there, um, probably anyway. But this guy is a very high-level opponent for him to test himself against. He likes a test, man. Blood Diamond said basically everyone's a person. When I'm talking to him, he's saying, he's saying Adesanya is a person. Uh, and Ghanu is only a man, you know, like he's not scared yeah. of anyone, man. He knows he knows he's got a certain set of skills. He's confident he can use those skills against anyone in the world. Although he did say that he wouldn't like to fight 100 duck size Francis Ngannou. He just fight the big 10 foot Francis Ngannou. I gave him a question. I said, you got a choice, man. What would you rather fight? A hundred duck size Francis and Garners or one ten foot size Francis and Garners? <laughs> That's a fucking tricky I would question, bro. Stomp on them duck size and Garners. A hundred of them, bro. Like there's the numbers, yeah, but, bro. <laughs> but I'll just hit late. I'll run like twenty meters back because obviously they're going to be slower. You know, I'll run in soccer punt like three of them, and then just up and back, just sort of like could take a while. But I reckon I could just like punt them around. They, I reckon I could get it done. <laughs> Whereas my what can I do against it? What could I do against fucking Ngannou in general, let alone a 10 foot version of him? Exactly. Man, he'll just pick me up like a fucking and just smack me around like I'm a fish or something. That's it. That's it. But anyway, that's a man. good point where you were saying with um how blood's like everybody, like their persons. Cause it's like when, um who was it? Sanhagen was fighting Jan and he was just said pretty much the same quote. He's like, People have a tendency to make monsters of men, not realizing like everybody bleeds, everybody gets like tired. So it's all the same. So it's just sort of that uh, mentality and how you look at it sort of thing. <laughs>